Hello dear students, welcome to That's It YouTube channel. I am Akasu sir. I am going to teach you today the concept called as limiting reagent. Limiting reagent is a concept which is studied in stoichiometry as a part of mole concept. You might have faced a lot of difficulty while solving the question related to the limiting reagent. You should know that limiting reagent concept is used when the number of reactants are at least 2, it could be even more. Now, when the number of reactant molecules are minimum 2, then we get a question which reagent or reactant will be completely consumed. For example, you went to a hotel and you ordered a plate of idli, he had given you the idli along with chutney. Now, which one will be finished first is called as limiting reagent. If I ask you that question randomly, you went to, a, uh, into, into an eatery and you are consuming the idli there, which one would be completely consumed first? Can you answer this question? Probably you will say that depends upon the quantity, sir. If I take more idli for less chutney, definitely chutney will be consumed first. But the point is, if chutney is too bad, the taste of chutney is too bad, definitely it won't be consumed, isn't it? So, don't predict the limiting reagent on the basis of the initial amount which is being given. All right, this is very important. So, we need to have a proper method to predict the limiting reagent. Before that, we need to understand what exactly is limiting reagent. First of all, its definition, isn't it? Limiting reagent is the reactant that is fully consumed during the course of reaction. So, remember limiting reagent is 100 percent, you see the topic says it all, it is 100 percent consumed, 100 percent over. At the end of reaction, you could anticipate the limiting reagent to fully finish, all right. One more definition, this is very important. Limiting reagent produces the least limiting reagent produces the least amount of product. Remember the second point, limiting reagent produces the least, very important, produces the least, the least amount of product is supposed to be obtained from what? The limiting reagent only. Now, in order to understand that concept, let me give you a common example. Say, we are interested in making a car, a movable car indeed, for which you require four tire, isn't it? One engine and one body. So, if you want to make what? A moving car, you have got one body, one engine and four tires. For example, I have taken in equal amounts of all these components. Imagine a case where I have taken equal amounts of all the three, engine, body and tires. You tell me how many cars you can make, you know that each car would require four tires minimum, isn't it? So, how many cars you can make? Definitely two, isn't it? So, if I am able to make two cars, that means out of 10, because each car require 4 tire, 8 tires are utilized and 2 are remaining. Out of this 10, in order to make 2 cars, I would require 2 engine. So, remaining are 8 and same is the case with the body as well, is not it? So, 8 body, 8 engine and 2 tires are left. That means, nothing is fully consumed, there is no limiting reagent here, right. So, now let me take another case, alright. Let me take a specific case here. What I will do this time is, I am going to take 4 tire, you know the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 4. I will take 4 engine and I will take 4 body. Now, you tell me how many cars you can make, you know that each what you call car require 4 tire, 
hence this is completely consumed and i can make how many cars one car for one car i would require only one engine and one body so how many are remaining here in these cases three engine and three body are remaining and what is fully consumed here is nothing but the tires so whatever is completely consumed though it is taken in equal amount as the other components or even sometimes excess you know that it is completely consumed hence referred as limiting reagent so what is the limiting reagent here is the tire and you see this many are remaining right three engine and three body are remaining hence they are referred as excess reagent so these two are present in excess and this is present in limited amount so this is called the limiting reagent so this is the concept involved in this now it's all one questions in order to understand this in deep for example you have to predict the mass of water which is formed when 4 gram each of h2 and o2 are reacting first of all more than one reactant two reactants so limiting reagent may be applicable second it is assumed that the reaction is 100% complete one of the reactant or both may be completely consumed that's called limiting reagent so let me write the equation first in mole concept you should write the equation then balance it remember these two steps i am first writing the equation and then balancing it all right after that you know that uh, the moles need to be converted into moles need to be converted into what sorry the mass need to be converted into moles since you are given 4 gram of hydrogen 4 gram means how many moles two moles right 4 by molar mass of hydrogen is how much two that means how many moles of this thing is taken two moles so two mole of h2 is being taken what about oxygen 4 gram of oxygen is also given right 4 gram means 4 divided by molar mass of oxygen is 32 so this is turning out to be how much 1 by 8 all right so this is 1 by 8 mole of oxygen is being taken now you see when you are given both the reactants and their specific amounts in terms of moles you have to see how much product is produced whichever produces the least according to the definition limiting reagent produces the least you see for one mole you are getting one mole of water if this is completely consumed how many mole you would get two mole whereas if i assume oxygen as limiting reagent for half mole you are getting one mole that means double for 1 by 8 if this is limiting reagent double of 1 by 8 is 1 by 4 mole so whichever is least is the answer what is the least amount 1 by 4 mole is the least amount so that is the answer this is not the answer from where it is obtained oxygen so oxygen is the limiting reagent therefore you can see that number of moles of h2o formed are 1 by 8 that means how many gram 1 by 8 into molar mass is 18 so this many gram of h2o is formed all right i hope you understood so please follow the classes regularly i am going to cover up all the topics which are important for jw as well as neat through these sessions sometimes in telugu hindi or english please stay tuned if you have liked the video you know what to do right like share and subscribe if you are new to the channel and keep encouraging the teachers that's it